Good morning, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2013 63 plate Audi A5 2 litre TDI S line Cabriolet finished off in a nice metallic white. First things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle, then when we get back round to the start, I'll show you the car once again but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi specialist workshop and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're getting back round to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we're going to look over the car once again panel by panel checking for any dent scratches or blemishes in the paintwork so the near side front wing looks in good condition near side front door looks good near side rear quarter looks good as well near side front alloy nice condition alloy with light curb into the outer edge so will be refurbished prior to sale the near side front tire has a good four or five mil remaining moving down the near side all panels look good one light mark on the wing mirror just to be polished up and touched in there and then one of the two little marks to be polished up and touched in on the panel there in our workshop prior to sale so the near side rear alloy same again a nice condition alloy a couple of light marks just around the outer edge as you can see nothing major the near side rear tire approximately five or six mil remaining looking back down the near side now from rear to front near side rear quarter looks good near side front door looks good and the near side front wing looks good Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. One or two light marks again, to be fair, a bit of muck just come off my finger there actually. Car has been for a quick wash, but we will have a professional revalet prior to sale. One or two light marks just along the edge of the bumper there to be touched in. Again, one or two tiny little marks again on the bumper. And here to be touched in prior to sale. Tail lights and tailgate look in good condition and the soft top roof and rear screen look in good condition as well. Looking down the off side of the car now from rear to front, off side rear quarter looks in good condition, off side door looks good and the off side front wing looks good. Off side rear alloy, nice condition alloy, one or two tiny little marks on this one, nothing major and the off side rear tyre approximately 5 mil remaining. Moving around the or down the off side of the car now, panels look good one or two light marks to be polished up and touched in as you can see just down the door there and on the wing there as well we've got a light scratch that to be fair i think we'll have refinished in our body shop prior to sale offside front alloy nice condition alloy same again light curb into the outer edge this one will be refurbished prior to sale offside front tire approximately four mil looking back down the offside now from front to rear offside front wing looks good Offside door looks in good condition and the offside rear quarter looks good as well. Moving around the front of the car now, we're going to check out all lights and grills on the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look okay. As for the front bumper, for the age of mileage of the car, looks in good condition. One or two light marks just scattered to be touched in. A little bit of peeling on the lacquer on the grill there as well. I'll see if I can have sorted at our body shop uh, when it goes for that scratch on the wing. And yeah, other than some light touch-ups, the front bumper looks good. Final panel to check over is the bonnet. As you can see, the paintwork on the bonnet's in good condition. There are no major dents or scratches. One or two light marks to be polished up and touched in just along the front. As you can see, a couple of stone chips. Other than that, all looks well. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. Doesn't appear to be any major chips or cracks. A couple of surface markings just in the centre and then a couple on the driver's side but other than that looks in okay condition now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car starting in the boot decent sized boot for a cabriolet on these a5s 60 40 split folding rear seats all carpets and plastics in good condition other than light wear and tear and then all the plastics underneath the boot lid including the original one in triangle in good condition as well moving through the interior front door cards in good condition just the same wear and tear you get on these chrome trims very common but it's not excessive s-line kick plates look good front carpets look good and they have the front s-line leather where the bolsters are still firm holding their shape there's no excessive wear just age related wear and tear no rips no tears there's no cigarette burns or traces of any odors in this car as you can see you've got the audi neck scarf looking into the back as you can see Leather's in really good condition. You've got two factory uh, headrests, two three-point seat belts, and uh, ice fix fittings to both rear seats as well. Jumping in, 
passenger seat sounds nice, if not a little bit nicer. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. Other than that chrome trim being slightly pitted and scratched, interior looks good. So, we'll start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as we possibly can. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors. Central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle there. Automatic lights and wipers in this car. We've got cruise control on the stock just underneath the indicators. Moving up the centre console, you've got the fully adjustable leather armrest. All your roof controls are the master window switch, which we'll go through in a moment. Traction control and stop start. Six speed manual transmission. Electronic parking brake. Dual climate control, air conditioning and front heated seats. All the MMI controls in the centre that will run through the best I can now. As you can see, we've got full telephone prep on this car. In Bluetooth, we've got CD player, SD card player, and Audi music interface. And in radio, we've got DAB radio and a few other options. As you can see, there is an aftermarket, almost like a parrot system for your telephone there. This is the um, upgraded Bang & Olufsen speaker system in this car as well. As you can see there, and on the dash there. Back over to the driver's side, we're finished off with this S-Line leather-bound multifunction steering wheel and this car's on 86,264 miles. My first job's going to be to go and put some fuel in it because as you can see it's properly empty. But now I'm just going to operate the roof and we'll jump out and do a walk round with the roof down before I end the video. Really fast and slick roof operation on these. Easy as that. We'll hear a beep and the windows will go up, completing the cycle. We'll jump out, do a walk round. Really, really sleek looking convertible. Fast roof operation, reliable roofs as well. Smart looking car. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thanks again.